5.3 deals with standard deviation. Standard deviation is a measure of dispersion or scatter of data values in relation to the mean. A low standard deviation indicates that most data values are close to the mean. So if we have a set that looks like this on a histogram, it's going to have a fairly low standard deviation because all of our values are pretty close to our mean. If we have a set that looks like this on a histogram, here our standard deviation is going to be pretty high because it indicates that most data is scattered farther away from the mean, which would be somewhere in here. So if we look at the investigate the math on page 226, we're dealing with this question. The coach of a varsity girls basketball team keeps statistics on all the players. Near the end of the game, the score is tied and the best starting guard is fouled out. The coach needs to make a substitution. The coach examines the field goal stats for five guards on the bench in the last 10 games. Our question is, how can the coach use the data to determine which player should be substituted into the game? So, which player seems to be the most consistent shooter? I said that it was Paige, because if we look, our range is only two. Our highest value is 35, and our lowest value is 33. So 35 minus 33 gives us a range of two. So let's learn how to calculate the standard deviation for Paige. So we have to use a table that looks a lot like the one at the top of page 227. So here we have Paige's field goal stats. Here we have x, which is the data, minus x bar, which is the mean. And here we have x minus x bar squared. And then we have to somehow find the mean of the squares and then take the square root of that. What? OK, let's start off easy. So let's calculate the mean. How do we calculate the mean? We add up all of our values in our set, then divide by the number of values in our set. So we have 34 plus 35 plus 33 plus 35 plus 33 plus 34 plus 33 plus 35 plus 34 plus 33 gives us 339 divided by 10 values, which gives us our mean of 33.9. So now we need to find x minus our mean. So 34 minus 33.9 gives us 0 0.1. 35 minus 33.9 gives us 1.1. 33 minus 33.9 gives us negative 0 0.9. Thirty-five minus 33.9 gives us 1.1, and we continue in such a fashion. Negative 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.9. Okay. So now we need to take the square of our deviation, which was x minus x bar. So 0 0.1 squared gives us 0 0.01. 1.1 squared gives us 1.21. And we continue all the way down this list. Once we've done that, we have to take the mean of our squares. And how we do that is we add up all of our squares and we divide them by the number of entries. So we have 6.9 divided by 10, which equals 0 0.69. Then we have to take the square root of this number in here. So square root of 0 0.69 is equal to 0 0.83. So our standard deviation in this case 
is 0 0.83. This value is less than 1, so we know that her data values aren't very scattered.